Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. And this time we have no gameplay because I want to talk about PlayStation Experience 2016. A lot of new games, but we have some couple of like huge, huge, huge announcements. I feel like I just have to talk about this. I have to show this for you. If you haven't seen the trailer, if you have, you still maybe don't want to know my opinion because this, this, yeah, these two particular games, they are really, really close to me. I freaking love them and we will talk more about them. But let's begin this and let's see what games do did I really feel, feel good about from the PlayStation experience. We will of course not talk about every game because if you talk about every game, this video will be like a couple of hours. But I picked four or five games that we will talk about. So let's do this. So the first one is The Lost Legacy, a standalone DLC for the Uncharted 4. When I saw this trailer for the first time, this is like the pre-showcase pre trailer. I think, I'm not the only one, but I think a lot of people thought that we will see Lara Croft once again in a new Tomb Raider, but no. This looks freaking amazing. I mean, oh my god. Need to get to the door. Uh, this is, of course, a standalone, as I said, a standalone DLC for the Uncharted 4. That means that this is, has nothing to do with Nathan Drake and so on. This is about two other characters that we are, we have seen them before Nadine Ross from Uncharted 4, and this time even Chloe Fraser from Uncharted 2. And that's pretty cool. I mean, if you ask me, I think that's, that's amazing. Almost. There's a couple more in the alley. So exactly what the story is about is it's not a secret they maybe have told us or not. Me, my personal thoughts is that I want to experience the craziness in the game. And this looks amazing. I mean not the as always is making a a beautiful DLC game, standalones, no alones. I don't care. It looks so so good. One was the warehouse, the other. You're in the wrong place, girl. The girl is a badass. Oh damn! She knows how to fight. And what would a shot be without the fights? Not. Nah. Yes, me. Nowhere to run. And here comes Nadine. It's it's so amazing to see those two characters. And I think we will have a lot of history to see how those did meet up, how they know each other, and so on, and how they You're late. how they somehow you was in the oh, game of relax. Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 4. We'll live longer. Yeah. Freaking love this. The Lost Legacy. That's one of the games. The other game that I'm really, really looking forward to is called Neo. N I O H. Nio. Nio. It's from Team Ninja. It's the studio behind Dead or Alive and Ninja Gaiden. So, this is a lot of swords, a lot of magic. It's an action RPG are all kind of crazy bosses, enemies, stories, magic, lions, pandas. It's it's fracking it's, it's fracking it's freaking ninja. It's I think it, it, this looks so amazing. I so want to play this. And the wait is not that long. I think it's the end of February we will be able to play this. And I'm really really looking forward to this game. It looks amazing. And I think we have a lot of content to play on. Another cute game that I did love the first one is, of course, Knack. This is Knack 2. The first Knack was a release game for the PlayStation 4. So it's been a couple of years now. But the first one was so, so good. I freaking love that game. You have puzzles, you have fighting, you have... I mean, you have all the things you need in a game to be able to play with your friends online or alone. You know, 
the big news here is, of course, you'll be able to play co-op. Use two snacks this time. So, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. She, and a PlayStation event or a PlayStation showcase, whatever you want to call it, would never be anything man? without the Resident Years. Evil. Of course, we are talking about Resident Evil 7, but the, f the coolest thing I think about this game is that it will support PlayStation VR, you know, the PlayStation VR virtual reality headset, and the whole game will support that headset. That will be kind of creepy. That will, uh, I think that will be like... Brutality. That's all I say. End of February, Resident Evil 7. Freaking love this game. But this last trailer was my favorite. I almost cried when I saw this trailer, to be honest. When you see it at the first time, you see woods, as you can see. Old car in the woods, maybe. Uh, but when you see, like, the sign, when you see this one, then you know what we are talking about. We are, of course, talking about The Last of Us Part 2. And I, f I love the first game. The first game was so emotional for me because I was somehow so much into the characters to know how, how is it to survive something like the f something, something bad as that was happening in the first game. I won't tell you so that much if you haven't played the first game, so no spoilers. Mm -hmm. But we will see the same characters from the first game. Ellie and Joel is back in the second one. And this looks amazing. Before they show us, showed us this trailer, they were really... It was important to know that this is a really early stage of the game. We do know this is not the in-game, but it's still really early. And they think they are still working a lot with the engine. And it will look so, so amazing. I'm blind to it all in my mind. Feels like Ellie is pissed off. Me. Somehow. And when I see this trailer, I just want to play the first game once again. And I'm going to play it as soon as I have a little more time. Uh, whenever that will be, I have no idea. But the feeling I have for this when I see this trailer is that this part two will be much much more i mean deeper when it comes to, um, emotional deeper it will be a lot more darker when it comes to killing and the story i mean there is something something really bad is happening of course but ellie is is pissed off more or less and why i think she's pissed off you will hear that in the end of this trailer really really soon so enjoy this guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and we have some great games next year. So be sure to follow me on the adventure. I will have the adventure with you, of course. So I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Enjoy. Find and I'm going to kill every last one of them.